So there I stood outside of my supervising attorney's office, just waiting for him to open his door and let me know what he thought of the motion I had submitted for his review. I was a baby lawyer, maybe a few months into the practice of law, and I was nervous just waiting for his feedback on what I had written. You see, I had spent weeks on that motion. I researched all the case law. I crafted what I believed to be a beautiful argument for every cause of action. It was my first real big girl lawyer brief. Naturally, I was nervous to hand it in for review. So when I got it back, the document was actually dripping with red ink. Almost every line had some sort of correction. I was convinced in that moment that I failed completely and that I didn't deserve to be a lawyer. A bit dramatic, I know. <laughs> it wasn't until a few weeks later that my supervising attorney finally spoke to me about the brief and told me that it was actually not that bad, aside from a few suggestions here and there. I was in agony for weeks when all could have just been avoided and cleared up had he just taken a few minutes to chat with me about the brief right then and there on the spot. From that moment, I became convinced that most feedback is best served fresh and on an ongoing basis. In fact, for law firm leaders who are watching this video, that ongoing and consistent feedback is exactly what's gonna get your millennials engaged in the workplace. So that is what we're talking about today. I'm Nicole Aboud of NicoleAboud.com, and I'm a leadership speaker and the host of the Gen Y Lawyer podcast. Welcome to Lead Like a Lawyer with Attorney at Work where we share one really good idea every day. When it comes to feedback in the workplace, we as millennials want the good, the bad, and the quick. Whether it's praise for a job well done or constructive insight on how we can improve, we want to hear all of it. Like most human beings, young lawyers relish in positive reinforcement. A well-timed, great job in that deposition, Jim, or you really handled that angry client with poise and compassion, Sally, can really go a long way in boosting morale and also just providing indication that we're on the right track. At the same time, we want to hear when we're not on the right track. We're open to hearing when and where we can improve and further develop ourselves and our work. Regular check-ins from our leaders help us pinpoint areas for improvement and help us uh, set clearer objectives, which keep us feeling challenged in the workplace. This continuous process of evaluation allows us to acknowledge our achievements and improve on areas that require development. Because as millennials, we grew up with technology, with instant messaging, with immediate feedback on our social media posts and such, we're used to a culture of constant connectedness and responsiveness. We expect the same thing in the workplace. So gone are the days of annual reviews or even biannual reviews. Feedback that is delivered on an ongoing basis is much more effective in helping us pivot, adjust, and develop. Frequent feedback also encourages open dialogue between law firm leaders and millennials. Millennials are ambitious and hardworking and desire a two-way street when it comes to communication. So evaluations are one place where millennials can actually share their opinions and bounce around ideas in a constructive environment. If you're a law firm leader who is looking to motivate your millennial associates, reduce costly turnover, and cultivate a more productive law firm environment, then you need to invest in continuous feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos and share it with your friends. Also, for more practice management, productivity, and marketing tips, sign up for the Attorney at Work newsletter at attorneyatwork.com.